Hi everybody, my name is Chris, a blood tested, mother approved black man, here to answer all your cosmopolitan questions. This is Black Man Answers Cosmo. I'm your host, Chris. Now normally, my friend Rich would come here and make an appearance, but he's off in LA doing LA things, I don't know what that means. So I have an actual very special guest. He hails from a land known as Ohio. My friend of yours, Mo Chocolate. God. How's it going, guys? Where the heck did you come from? I came all the way from Ohio. I heard someone say my name, and I just wanted to run here as fast as I could. How? Why are we? What? Because I am Mo Chocolate, and that's how I roll. So let's 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 get started. All right. Hi, guys. I enjoy girl-on-girl -girl porn, even though I'm not a lesbian. What's going on? Nothing. You're just going through what every person goes through. It's called sexual desire. It means if you see something that you like, I mean. The thing is that it's socially acceptable. If girls go, go to the club and get drunk, they start making out with each other. And what do what we do? We just fight each other. It's just like, it's just, it's just dogs and cats. That's just two, two differences. Yeah. So I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with you. It's just like me. If I watch something like, I don't know, bestiality, and I just happen to enjoy it, nothing wrong with me. I'm just saying I might enjoy it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. There's no. Keep, so keep no. It. no. Whoa. There's, there's something wrong with that. My boyfriend wants to watch me masturbate, but I know I will feel embarrassed. Why would he want me to do that in front of him? He's a dude. He likes seeing you naked, he likes seeing you get into your, your zone. And for me personally, I think nothing is hotter than when a woman is turned on in front of me. Especially when it's of my own, you know, my Ooh. own doing, right? It's, it's hot, it's awesome. So, wow. just seeing that in itself, it's just, it's dope, it's great. I mean, I don't, it's, not, it's nothing weird about it. I think the guy's doing the right thing. I mean, you should ask him to like, you know, join in if you don't feel comfortable with it. If it makes you feel really weird, just say, hey. I just, wanna get the Ricky with you. Yes. Is it true that eating certain foods will make me taste better? <laughs> what? Is it true that eating certain foods will make me taste better down there? I never even thought that was possible. Yeah. Like if if I go to McDonald's and have like a Big Mac, I taste better or something? What? Yeah. So no, wait, no, what? no, so not, not Big Mac. So like for instance, <laughs> for instance, I happen to know not because I tried it myself, but I know about it. That if a guy eats a lot of pineapple, then his sperm will taste better. Mm, if you have some girl that happened to go to Chipotle beforehand, and you just they just happen to be spicy down there, I mean, I guess you, I guess like it depends, it, it varies. Like me personally, I never really went down on a girl. I never, I did not. I'm not really fan of that, and so I can't really say I would taste the difference. So, I would imagine I would just taste. Never mind. We yeah. we, we so won't I, get there. I just I, so I'll yeah. jump in there. So because I, I have done that before, Lucky and, you. I, and I do. Not so much luck. I've been married, remember that? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So I've been married, so it's part of my obligation as a man. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I, I personally do enjoy it. I like it, and I actually like the taste. And after a while, I started to crave it. And I just think, I know it sounds weird. It's just, I'm just being honest. I just, I just enjoy it. It's a thing. Sensor. But, <laughs> but actually, um, I've never tasted the difference between what she ate. I just like her particular taste. And at the end of the day, just to answer this question, let's wrap it up. Yeah. It doesn't matter because it's gonna be good to the guy regardless. Always. So don't worry about your diet. Eat it. If, it's, if it tastes weird, it's still gonna eat it anyway. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got puss in my tummy. And it takes me a minute to have an orgasm with myself. But with a guy, it takes longer. Why? Well, honestly, me personally, like, nobody knows how to make you happy than yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what I need to do to make myself happy. We know that. Nah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh, I, uh, I don't use my hand. Anyway, um, so when the thing is like when I, uh, I'm. Wait, 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 wait. What do you do? Wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't want to know. No one knows that make you happier than you. Like you know you, you know your body. Your man or guy, whatever guy you said, guys, I assume is mobile dudes. They don't know you, so they're just figuring it out. Like I know when I get when I get up in in there sometimes, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Would work for the last girl, but it may not work for you. So the fact is, those guys don't know you. The guy, if you are with a guy long term and it still takes longer, that's only fun. Just have fun with it. Enjoy the time you guys have together, and don't worry about. It's not a race, you know. If you have like ten minutes, take I don't know. Minutes. Some girls like it when it's a race. I'm just uh, saying, some girls do. I, I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know what yeah. girls are anymore. I've been living with a boyfriend for about two years now, and we were dating for a few years prior to that. I assumed that moving in together would result in our taking things to the next level in our relationship, but it hasn't. What's taking him so long to pop the question? A wife pot never boils, mm. pretty much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You have to like, we have to just make sure this is absolutely 100% because we married this person Breach. for life. 
Yes. For life, like holy matrimony till the day you die. Sometimes. Some people take that seriously. I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Bad timing. So I'm gonna break guy code here for a second. So guys, don't get mad at me, but let's just, let's just be real about this. Yes. A lot of guys will not completely settle down. That means they will not stop seeing other girls or hanging out with other girls, even if they have long-term girlfriends, until you have a ring on your finger, right? And even then. If you like it, then you put a ring on it. If you like it, then you put a, put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. And unless a girl has a ring on her finger, they're not going to really settle down. And so it's like that ring means it's all over. So they're going to hesitate to do that. And even if they live with you, they'll live with you, they'll love you, they'll take care of you, they'll buy you things, they'll take you out, you'll have a great time together. But they'll still be out there sometimes on the slide, sneaking in other chicks, messing around with other girls. You know, they, they players got to play. But okay when you to play, hate, hate the game. Hate the game completely. So when they get that ring on their finger, it means it's over. So they're, oh, they're holding on. They're holding on to that last grip before they finally like, float away in happiness with you. Thank you no, for having you guys. No, absolutely. So this has been another episode of Black Man Just Cosmo, where we answer all your cosmopolitan questions. It's me, Chris. And I'm Mo. And that's Mo, and he's on the floor. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going back to Ohio. See you later. See ya. So, thank you guys, and deuces. <laughs>